Alrighty, that was a lot of fun, guys. I'm glad we got the drone out here. I mean, beautiful sunny day. I, I can't imagine a better way to send off our kids for the summer and stuff. You go first, Mrs. Brammer Camp. Yeah, it's a long, it's a little bit of a ways down that ladder. Okay, then Mr. Robinson, you're down. Mrs. Lane. All right, one last look. Oh, I can't wait for summer. So many fun plans. I hope all the kids have a great time. They do lots of reading, rest their brains. Man, it's gonna be a fun summer break. Here we go. One last goodbye. See you next year, Huron. find out. I'm gonna go put my nameplate back where it belongs. I need five cases, not three. Come on. Mr. Subject, I'm your dad. No? Yeah? Can we do that Mr. then? Mr. Pelkey! Yes, what are, you I'm, I'm do what are do you doing in my office? I'm talking to Sean and we got a problem here. Why are you in my office? I'm the new uh, principal now. What? What the heck is going on? This is crazy. Mr. Pelkey, hey, boss. I was just wondering, hi boss. I'm boss. We got something to talk about. We got like five minutes. No, 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 no. Can I just leave early today? I got stuff no. to do. I got to get out of here. Uh, I don't think I'm, so. No, it's not come work on. Out. I'm done with everything. Everybody else gets to leave early. Yeah, you and I don't know. You know, we got to stay. We got things to talk about. This business here. Mm. Uh, we're not done yet. Mm. Ten minutes, you'll be fine. No. So sit down. No, uh, this can't be real. Yeah, this is real. Yeah, we we'll just close the door. I don't know. Hey, oh, I need to talk to you about enrollment. Lisa, about our numbers. Oh, you. Miss Karen, what? what is going on here? Miss Karen. Why, why, why is Mr. Pelkey <laughs> thinking he's the principal? We're and trying what? to have a meeting. It's an admin meeting. It's an admin. I am admin. Enrollment. This is my office. You we were. have requirements about the back office. You're not supposed to be back here. Right. What, you, no. Wait, what no. is going on here? Did you check with the front ladies to see if you could come back here? We have new rules well, out here now. Is I supposed is, to? It's my yeah. office. No. No. Mm -hmm. No. It's that's over. It Something weird is ladies. happening here. Just send me an email, okay? Bye. Bye. Boy, oh boy, I can't figure out what in the world is going on. Mr. Pelkey thinks he has my job. Apparently now I'm a custodian. The whole world is upside down. Hey, why is the floor all wet? Mr. Subcheck? Mr. Subcheck? Yeah. Where have you been? Uh, it's the first day of school. The kids are here. Lane. It's time for you to do... We've been calling you. You don't call. You don't write. We don't hear from you. It's the first day of school. It's, it's the first the day of school. It's time for the announcements. Hey, wait, wait, wait. I forgot to do storage for subcheck. 
I always have to do it for the first day of school. We better get to it. It's time to start. Perfect. Found a book right here. So this is called Time for School, Nathan. And I think this is the perfect book for the first day of school. I hope you kids have an awesome school year. I hope you had a great summer. Can't wait to see you all on Tuesday morning. Enjoy the rest of the summer break. We'll see you soon. No principles were harmed in the making of this video. Time for School, Nathan, by Lulu DeLacker. Brrrring. It was seven o'clock and time to get up. Wake up, sir, cried Nathan's best friend, Nicholas Alexander. Today is our first day of school. Please hurry, we mustn't be late. Of all the things we've done and places we've been together, continued Nicholas, school will be the best. No, no, no. Nathan quickly replied. You don't understand. I want to go all by myself. All by himself indeed, muttered Nicholas. After breakfast, Nathan quickly gathered his school things and waved goodbye to Nicholas. Nathan jumped into the bus and off he went to school. At school, the teacher asked the children to sit in a circle for roll call. Now please tell me your names in a loud, clear voice, she said. Amy, Chris, Paul, the children called out. Alicia, Richie, Nathan. Nicholas Alexander, said a tiny voice. Nicholas Alexander, thought Nathan. Will everyone please be very quiet, said the teacher as she opened a large storybook and began to read. Suddenly, Nathan heard the familiar little voice singing. Where are you, whispered Nathan. You weren't supposed to come. Nathan, said the teacher, please be quiet while I read, but, and don't play with the coat rack. After the story, the children gathered into groups for playtime. Some children got felt boards, some got clay, and others got toy cars. Richie and Alicia were in Nathan's group. They got a huge puzzle. The three playmates worked long and hard. Just as Nathan very carefully put in the last piece, he felt something tickling him. Spickety, 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 spack with the puzzle. Nathan, cried Richie. You ruined our puzzle. I'm not playing with you anymore. Neither am I, exclaimed Alicia. I think this is all Nicholas's fault, whispered Nathan. At recess time, Nathan was the last one to leave the room. All the children followed the teacher, trotting, jumping, running, and sliding. But not Nathan. Nathan just sat under a tree all alone. After a while, Nicholas called out to him. Sir, he said, what is the matter? Nothing, said Nathan. Please tell me, said Nicholas. Well, said Nathan, it's just that I thought this was going to be a great day, but everything turned out wrong, and it's all your fault, and I don't want to go to school ever again. Nicholas scratched his chin and thought hard. Hmm, he said. I must admit, I might have played a little part in all this. Why, asked Nathan. You see, replied Nicholas, if you go to school every day and make friends, I won't be your best friend anymore. Of course you will, said Nathan. You will always be my best friend. Really, said Nicholas? Really, said Nathan. I guess I was, well, jealous, said Nicholas. I'm sorry. After recess, Nicholas promised to be good for the rest of the day. When Nathan told Alicia and Richie he was sorry about the puzzle, they said they had forgotten all about it. So at snack time, Nathan traded his raisins for Richie's peanuts. Alicia gave Nathan her small chocolate bar. Later, the teacher gave all the children paper and crayons. I have an idea, cried Nathan, remembering a trick Nicholas had once taught him. Nathan folded the paper in three parts and explained that they wouldn't know what the picture would look like until the end. First, Alicia drew the head and front legs of her favorite animal. Then Richie drew the body of his favorite animal. Finally, Nathan drew the back legs and tail of his favorite animal. When they finished, they eagerly opened the paper. Wow, it's pretty neat, exclaimed Alicia. I didn't know this trick, said Richie. It sure is great. My friend Nicholas showed me this, said Nathan. When the teacher saw the drawing, she taped it to the wall for all the children to see. 
It is the very best picture, she said. Alicia, Richie, and Nathan were so proud, they all held hands and did a little dance. Finally, school was over. Nathan grabbed his backpack and started nibbling on his chocolate bar. Nicholas walked with him to the bus. Oh my, said Nathan, school is wonderful. I think I've made two new friends. Two new friends in one day, said Nicholas. That's quite an accomplishment, my dear sir. And you did it all by yourself. Oh, Nicholas, said Nathan. I'm very happy in school, but I can't wait for our weekend treat. This Sunday, I'll be going for a ride on a hot air balloon. Do you want to join me? asked Nicholas. Yes, yes, I'd love that, cried Nathan. And Monday morning, said Nicholas, you can tell your new friends all about it. You know something, Nicholas? Tell me, sir. I'm glad we're best friends. Me too, sir, said Nicholas with a smile. Me too. The end.